Hi there, welcome. We're gonna show you how today to put a lunar low back chair together. As you see, we've got the pieces laid out on the floor. We have our cushion, we have our frame, and our componentry. Today, I'm going to assemble this on the floor, which should take approximately about 15 minutes at maximum. And we're just gonna show you a couple of little tricks on how to get this done as quickly as possible. But being a hammock chair, it does require a bit of strength maybe a hammer if you need it if, if you have one but you are supplied with two allen keys and this should be suffice okay so i'll begin first of all we grab our frame and we set this up leaving it loose we grab our blocks which we have one over and one under we undo one side What we want to do is just set this in up hand tight. No more. You will see that you need the supporting legs to be coming out across this cutout here. We undo the other one. As I said, you only do these up hand tight. You need this to be loose and flexible to allow you to put the seat in. Sit down, boy. Okay, so, now that the frame is done, we start putting our supporting wooden sockets in. Okay, these are done in a teardrop shape. The teardrops face towards the ground. This label here denotes the bottom of the seat, so therefore there is the seat, there is the back. Please remember when putting these in, you have a larger hole which allows for the nut to tighten into the frame. If you stick the small hole to the outside, you will not be able to do it up. So please remember the larger hole on the outside and they just squeeze in. Like so. I've got a piece of Velcro on there just to hold them in place. Okay, once you've done that, make sure that again, the seat is in that position. The smaller side is the front, this is the back of the chair. We then have four of these. I need you to put one cap on, we turn it on one, two, three, no more than four. This allows you to keep the length. Four. One, two, three, four. Again, we're keeping it loose so it gives us a little bit more flexibility to put the product together. Okay, so we carefully put this here and we start. Now, I suggest the easiest way I have found is starting from the outside of the chair towards the inside. And by the outside, I mean the arm side. This is the back, this is the seat and the front, and these are the arms. So the easiest way I have found, starting from the outside of the chair, just make sure that that fabric is clear. Find the hole, just gently push through. Then you can see it coming through the other side. If you like to come in a little bit shorter and see what I'm doing here. You can see where I'm holding that there, okay? 
we then just hold that, pull that up and push that through. And again, we put this on just a few turns because it will tighten these all at the end. Now, you'll notice that I came from the right to the left. This time, as I said before, we're coming from the outside. So we're coming from left to right. Okay, so there we have the back assembled. We turn the chair around. This being the front, coming from the outside of the chair again. Sometimes the holes may feel a little tight. Because they've only not recently been drilled. It's not a problem, just work the bolt through to make sure there isn't any wood chip in there. Okay, so now we're down to the last one. Same thing again, I'm facing the chair, I'm coming from the outside of the chair to the inside. Now, as I've said, being a hammock chair, they do need a little bit of required strength. So. You may need another pair of hands, but generally speaking, once you get that into that hole there, you pop it through the outside. This can be the, the, last, the hardest part. And then we're in. Okay. Now, all we need to do is tighten. We have the two Allen keys and we work these around together because remembering that we only put each side on three to four turns and you do them up tight. One going clockwise, one going anti-clockwise. It's the front two, nice and tight. Spin the chair around again. Then we can roll the chair onto its front. Now, as, as you can see, I'm doing this on the floor. It's not difficult. I can suggest doing it on a bed, or if you've got a nice padded blanket, you can actually put it onto your dining room table. So the next part, what we want to do here, is we want to tighten these blocks. Just hand tight. Then the last ones you tighten is the actual base. Okay, and again, it is just hand tight. Periodically, you will need to tighten these up depending on how much use you get. There we have it. Put these in a drawer and keep them just in case they need tightening up. But there you have your Luna low back chair ready to use. Hope you enjoy it. For any other information, please visit imgcomfort.com. Thank you.